Hello, my name is Johnny Navarro. I'm the cable car manager and station engineer. I've been with the cable car for 35 years now and I'm going to show you around the plant room and show you how things work down here. Well, we're here at the bottom station plant room and uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the MG sets, monster generator sets. We've got two of them uh, and we switch them over every six months uh, in order to, to, to have some maintenance done to them and, and give them a rest. Uh, basically what this does is change the AC electricity to DC electricity through the generator. This is the generating part and that then feeds the drive motor over there. The drive motor turns the gearbox, this is the original gearbox, which in turn drives the bull wheel, which drives the cable car up and down. It's a very simple system, but then again, it's a very effective system. This over here are the service brakes. As you can see, we have two. We always have two of each for safety reasons. We've got two brakes here, coupled to the uh, drive motor and the gearbox and if we need to well, those will come on and, and, and stop the cabins. Having said that we've got another brake over here just beside the bull wheel and whenever the cabins come into the station that brake will apply and will firmly stop the cabins in the station and they won't be able to move. Over here we have the diesel uh, auxiliary engine. This engine we only use uh, if we have a power outage or we have an electrical fault uh, and the cabins are, uh, are in the middle of a truck and they can't move. So we put this engine, uh, we start this engine up and we, with a chain just over here, we connect the engine with this hydraulics and a chain onto the drive motor and that in turn will drive the bull wheel and the gearbox and will bring the cabins into back into the station. So that's the only time we use the, the, the diesel engine. Over here we have two, one on each side for, for, for each truck rope, uh, two 40.5 ton weights. This weight keep the tension on the, the truck rope and depending where the cabin is and the amount of people or the weight in the cabins, it's how much they will move. They will actually move up and down, depending on, on where the cabin is and, and, uh, and the weight on the cabins, to keep the, the tension at all times on the, the truck room. And the bull wheel, which drives the cable car, connected to the, the gearbox. We have two centrifugal switches. Uh, we have one here and one a bit further down. If the cable cars, for whatever reason, were to overspeed or go anything over 5.5, 5.8 meters a second, this will come in and in turn will trigger the emergency brake over here. So that's a, a double tap, another double tap safety feature for, for of the cable car. Well, we've come to the end of the, uh, our tour. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you found it informative. And hope to see you soon at the Cable Car. Come pay us a visit, have a coffee, have a meal, whilst enjoying uh, the spectacular views from the top at the Mont Scalpe Suite. We'll see you soon.